again I select ox to sketch in a vertical direction in this way I continue and as I said before we specify the name of the vertical axis with alphabetic letters so I click on it in this way and then I type A as it was highlighted and actually you can enable caps lock to type it capitalized so in this order I sketch the next one in this way like this the next one is automatically named B and the next one C and the next one and so on like this and at the last I click on modify to cancel the sketch mode very well note that there are some rules that you need to take them into consideration first of all grids are displayed with the dotted lines so we should consider this and another point here is that grids are considered or supposed as thin lines as you can see in this on this screen and another point here is that here we got, an, we got a circle that it's at, I mean here if I measure the radius or diameter it should be 8 millimeters I mean the standard value is 8 millimeters for diameter so 13 is not proper for here and another point a and 1 are the first axis usually the distance between the circle and the cross I mean the intersection um, actually it should be almost near 2 centimeters actually according to the scale in a way that they should consider the annotation in your project for example here I select the ox in this way I open edit type well here in the window of edit type the specified value for symbol is metric grid head circle I select the text in this way Control C to make a copy okay after that in project browser I click on families then I right click and click on search <laughs> or you can press Ctrl plus F instead of right clicking in this way so Ctrl F D is the shortcut but before that you need to click on families Ctrl V to paste next in this way right now the metric grid head is found in this way so I select it here the radius is 6.5 I double click on metric grid head circle so as I said the diameter should be 8 so 4 is proper for radius so I click on OK 4 millimeters in this way so right now the circles are minimized and they are cleaned up but we will get familiar with the construction of them and the next part is the distance between them to do this to control the distance between the circle and the intersection I click on reference plane and then sketch a reference plane here and another one here in this way since there should be two centimeters distance from the for the each sides then from annotate I select align dimension in this way and then I place a dimension between two lines and then continue in this way I select this and then I specify 2000 here and the scale is 1.1 as you can see and the another one I specify 2000 so it means that right now I should move the circle in this way and the another one in this way so right now we got a principled ox in this way and then I delete the dimensions so according to the scale of your project for example I modify this 1.50 check this out the dimensions should be changed to for example 1000 so the distance between the circular intersections are set based on or according the, to the scale of your project and later we would get uh, we will get familiar with the lines itself and I will talk about them later very well here after sketching the axis then I can observe them in all of the levels in this way I mean if you sketch your axis in one of the levels there is no need to sketch them in other levels in north elevation and after that I show level 4 and 5 in this way 
and then in view tab I click on tile views or you can just click on WT as a shortcut so here we got north level 5 and level 4 and level 3 actually the reason that we are observing the levels I mean the axis in all of the levels for example 4, 5 and 3 because the axes in the views are placed on the levels here if I move these axes under for example level 5 right now A, B, C, D are hide are hidden in level 5 and if I continue right now I can observe them in level 4 so in this way you can hide the some axes in some levels or control their displacement in this way so right now we have them here let me tonight let me try another way I mean I just want to sketch levels after sketching the axes or grids in this way for example 4000 millimeters in this way and the next one 4000 millimeters actually surely in these two levels which I have sketched them just right just now uh, sorry let me mention a point here so control Z to undo the project control Z so to don't be annoyed I modify view type the geometric here avenue select the level here I make plan view click on plan view types and after that uncheck ceiling plan and floor plan and only keep the structural plan so ensure yourself in this way again I sketch the levels 4 meters and the next one 4 meters after that I select these two levels right click and then maximize 3d extents in this way and then here I click on a structural plan I select level 6 and 7 and then I set geometric for view type to remove the question marks from project browser so right now if I open level 6 and 7 we cannot observe the axis and this is normal to not to observe them in level 6 and 7 because I have sketched the axis first I mean before sketching the levels so axes are not displayed in level 6 and 7 to show them either I can in north elevation I can modify the axis in this way continuing the vertical axis and then if I want to modify the horizontals I should modify them in south or west elevation but the easier way to open one of these levels for example one and then I select the axis and then I right click on one of them in this way and then maximize 3d extent then the axis will be displayed in all of the levels so this was the technique i wanted to mention